negative humans make negative ties with these extraterrestrials. Humans were created by the Anunnaki. They spliced their DNA with that of early primate species and created the first humans as their friendly servants who would worship them as if they were gods in a way. There have been rumors of um, a reptilian race that survived from the dinosaurs um, and live underground to this day. Can you tell us anything about that? There are experiences that humans have had with off-planet visiting extraterrestrial. And these beings known as the Alpha Centauri and the Draconians imprinted humans with certain negative behaviors and beliefs. The Anunnaki themselves had some portion of DNA that was reptilian. And as they created the elite societies and the concept of elite connected with the gods, the elite in your world still have a larger portion of the Anunnaki DNA and these reptilian energies active within them. The idea of underground reptilians is also uh, valid to some extent as there is a vast array of inner earth beings who exist. They do not exist on the same version of Earth that you exist upon. Most of these beings are positive. There are many mm, sorts of tribes and colonies from Lemurian and Atlantean times that live on, on inner Earth planes. There are also reptilian bases that have been brought to certain inner earth planes. We wouldn't advise connecting with them or looking much deeper into them. They only have influence on those who give them power. So are there basically two extraterrestrial factions at a war or a kind of standoff that are using humans to as a kind of proxy for their conflict? No. The Galactic Alliance is not at war with the reptilians. There is a perpetual truth and there is perpetual peace. We are more well equipped than them and we are more unified than them. They could not infiltrate or affect us if they tried. This has been solved long ago. However, as your planet is a free will planet that is not a formal member of any alliance, humans have a free will power to allow entities from other dimensions to affect them. And thus, humans are allowing for these negative interactions to take place and it is not that they are entirely hijacked by reptilians, remember. It is that negative humans make negative ties with these extraterrestrials that do not have a physical presence in your world, but work with humans to create sources of energy for themselves. But we do wish to say on this subject that not all reptilians are negative. There are, are positive reptilian beings as well. What is now Antarctica was once perhaps on the equator or something. Yes. Did that happen when there were humans on the planet who were making maps and things? Humanoid-like species, yes. Humanoid-like species. What name would I call these humanoid-like species? Hyperborean. They were very tall being. You might consider them having an elven sort of appearance. They had a range of skin tones 
much like humans, from darker to lighter skins to fairly bluish. They used to have a rather technological civilization, all of which was completely destroyed and obliterated. It was an intergalactic war that brought about the destruction of this species. I wanted to ask about the elongated skulls that, um, that they do exist in, in museums, although some seem to have been disappearing, but the elongated skulls of various shapes. What's that about? Some of these are preserved artifacts from mummies of different species, some human, some human-like. Others are the result of practices of skull stretching that is done through binding the head of an infant and takes place over a lifetime to create this specific shape that is essentially a way to resemble and mimic the skull of the more advanced species that ancient humans interacted with. There were also um, giant skeletons. Uh, a lot of newspaper reports from the 1800s have giant skeletons found, and they've kind of disappeared, these skeletons. Can you tell us about those? They're also specifically intentionally preserved remnants of more ancient civilizations. The Atlanteans and Lemurians were much, much taller than you were. Some of them come from these times. Is it true that some beings from ancient times are in stasis, some kind of suspended animation, maybe in Antarctica or other places and deep in caves? Well, they exist on different vibrational planes of your Earth, and in this way they have not disappeared entirely, are they on your physical earth now, preserved in this way? There are remnants, but they are not alive. Okay, that's very clear. Are there any further comments or clarifications you'd like to say on the subjects we've been talking about today? Solving the issues in your world on a multidimensional level mean to create stronger connections to the beings of love, to the beings of empowerment, who are your own guides. Just as much as there are negative, negative extraterrestrials affecting many humans, there are positive beings of light that can influence so many of you as well. These beings bring you to find the truth, and they bring you to share that truth with the world. They bring you to act in love and service by guiding you to discover that love within yourself. When you stay focused in the fear-based energies, it gives a greater source of energy for those who seek to control your planet. So allow yourself to be free from the vibration of fear. And this is very possible as you deepen in your connection with source energy. Source as infinite and unconditional love is unrelenting in its support for you because that's who you are at a fundamental level. Regardless of the karmic happening and the comings and goings of energy, you are source and you will never be let down by source. And the more you trust in this, the easier it will be for your planet to change and to evolve. On the spaceship of Babel, we are gliding through the stars on a five-year mission beyond Jupiter and Mars, a celestial encounter on a future Noah's Ark, and you will hear us coming. There's an Ewok close behind me as we try to disembark here And hope you won't know me as we whisper in the dark in the hold, we all practice Ayurveda's 
so we won't be growing old as we speak our further minor with the strangeness of a bar to the nearest on the phone as we whisper in the dark.